Today we'll be discussing the 2015 year-end close procedures in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015. A little bit about me. My name is Abby Barton and I'm a Business Advantage Support Senior Associate at RAND Group. I have three plus years experience with Microsoft Dynamics GP. This includes versions 8.0 all the way through 2015 R2. I've also been in the software support industry for four plus years. A little bit about our Business Advantage team. We offer technical support, accounting support, and business management support. The final module to close in your year-end closing process will be the general ledger. The purpose of closing this module is that it completes your Dynamics GP year-end close. It also moves records from the GL 20,000, which is your current year, to the GL 30,000, which is a historical year. Here's a summary of the steps. Number one, complete the posting procedures and the closing procedures for all other modules. Number two, post the final adjusting entries in the general ledger. Number three, print an account list to verify the posting type of each account. Number four, close the last period of the fiscal year. Remember, this is optional. Number five, perform file maintenance on the financial series group of modules. Also, this is optional. Number six, Verify the settings in the General Ledger Setup window. Number seven, make a backup. Number eight, print a final detailed trial balance report. Number nine, print the year-end financial statements. Number 10, set up a new fiscal year. Number 11, close the current fiscal year. Number 12, close all the fiscal periods for all the series. Number 13, adjust the budget figures for the new year and then print the financial statements. And finally, number 14, make a backup. Let's review this process in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015. Your first step is to complete the posting procedures and the closing procedures for all other modules. Normally, you complete this in the following order. Number one should be inventory. Number two should be receivables management. Number three should be payables management. Number four, fixed assets management. And number five, if you're using analytical accounting, please close those first. So since I've completed all the year-end closing procedures for those other modules, I'm going to move on to step number two. This will be to post the final adjusting entries in the general ledger. I have a few batches left to post, so I'm going to go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Master Posting. And I'm going to click Financial and I'm going to post all my financial batches, mark all, and post. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to print the reports, but if you do need to print the reports, please print to your destination. Okay, it looks like they have completed. So our third step will be to print an account list to verify the posting type of each account. The posting type determines whether an account is closed to the retained earnings account or whether an account brings a balance forward to the next year. So to review that report, go to Reports, Financial, Account. I'm going to select the report, All Accounts, click New, name this all accounts and I'm going to include my inactive accounts and then I'm actually going to sort by segment ID okay and I'm going to print my, this to my screen click OK and click print okay so what you want to do with this report is verify that all of your accounts have the correct account type so if they're supposed to be balance sheet accounts, they are balance sheet accounts. If they're supposed to be profit and loss, they're profit and loss accounts. So I'm going to print and save this for my records. I'm going to name this all accounts posting type and save. Now that I have verified that all my accounts are the correct posting type, I'm going to move on to step number four, which is close the last period of the fiscal year. Let's exit out of this report. Set 
don't need the changes. And I'm going to go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Company, Fiscal Periods. And I'm going to mark all of my fiscal periods closed for the year. Remember, this step is optional. Okay, so I've completed that. Our next optional step will be perform file maintenance on the financial series groups of modules. In order to do so, you'll go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Maintenance, Check Links. And you'll insert all of the logical tables into the selected tables window. Okay, now that all the selected tables have been added, I'm going to click OK and print the error log to screen. Now that the file maintenance has completed, you'll notice that it will show any error messages on this report. It looks like the financial record for 14 accounts has been added, and I'll click exit out of this report. Our next step will be to verify the settings in the general ledger setup window. So in order to do that, go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Financial, General Ledger. If you want to keep historical records, you must click to select the Accounts checkbox and the Transaction checkbox in the Maintain History area of the General Ledger Setup window. So I've already checkmarked these box so I can maintain the history. The Account History lets you print financial statements and calculated budgets from historical information. The Transaction History lets you print detailed historical trial balances. The transaction history also lets you view the transaction details. If these checkboxes are selected, both the account history and the transaction history are updated during the year-end closing routine. I'm going to click OK out of this window. And then our next step will be to make a backup. So I'm going to log into SQL. I'm going to select my company, Tasks, Backup. And I am going to add a new one. And this one is going to be GL year end close dot back and click OK. OK, so this has completed. I'm going to log back into GP. For our next step, we're going to print a final detailed trial balance report. In order to do so, go to Reports, Financial, Trial Balance, Detailed Report, and I'm going to name this Year End, Close, and I'm going to grab my posting accounts, my unit accounts, or just my posting accounts. And then this will be for my open year, which will be 2017, or you may select Current, which is your current year you're in right now. And then I'm going to click Destination, and then Print to Screen, and click Print. Now that this has completed, I'm going to print and save this report. Detailed TB, year in close, and save. Okay, so we printed the detailed trial balance report. And our next step will be to print the year-end financial statements. If you have any of these set up in GP, they will be the balance sheet, the profit and loss statement, statement of cash flows, and statement of retained earnings. Those can be found under Reports, Financial, Financial Statements. And if you've created them, they would be located within this window. So go ahead and print those and save to your destination. Now that we've completed, Step number six, printing the year-end financial statements, we're going to set up a new fiscal year. Go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Company, Fiscal Periods, and I'm going to make sure my 2018 year is set up correctly. First day is 1-1-2018, last day is 12-31-2018, and my number of periods is 12. All of them are open. And click OK. 
Now that we've set up the new fiscal year, I'm going to go ahead and close the current fiscal year. In order to do so, go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Routines, Financial, Year in Closing. Enter your retained earnings count here, and you'll notice that your current year should be this box here. So 2017 is my current year in closing, and then this box will be updated at the end of the year in close process. So I'm going to go ahead and click Close Year and click continue. And then I'm going to print this year in closing report. And I'm going to save it. So this is year in closing JE and save. And exit. Now that we have closed the year, you'll notice that the year has updated to 2018, and my last closing date was 12-31-2017. The next step will be close all the fiscal periods for all of the series. I believe this has already been completed, but we'll look one more time. Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Company, Fiscal Periods. So you can go ahead and close all the periods for um, every module. These financial, sales, and purchasing inventory are all the modules I use in this company, but I'll go ahead and click Close All, and then click OK. Our next step would be to adjust the budget figures for the new year and then print the financial statements. You can adjust the figures by using Excel-based budgeting, budget maintenance, or single account budget maintenance. If you use the budgets in GP, please go ahead and make your adjustments now. Lastly, we'll be to make a backup. This will be our final year-end close backup. Go back into SQL, Tasks, Backup, add a new backup, and I'm going to name this one Final GL Year-End Close dot back. And click OK. Okay, this has been completed. Another thing to check after you print the budget figures would be to print the profit and loss statement to verify that profit and loss accounts were close to the retained earnings account. You can also print the balance sheet to verify that balance sheet accounts in indicate that the balances were brought forward. We can review one of those accounts now. And if we pull up one of my accounts and I click 2018, my beginning balance has been brought forward for my new year. Now you've completed the general ledger year end closing procedure in Dynamics GP 2015. Now that we've completed the year-end close for this module, if you do need further support, here at RAND Group we do offer 24-7 support, especially during year-end close time. Just a little bit more about our company. We are originated in 1996. We have 100 plus local professionals to serve our clients. Our offices are located in Houston and Dallas, Texas, and we recently just became the top 1% of Microsoft partners worldwide. If you do need further assistance, you can email us at info at randgroup.com to schedule a private consultation or call at 1-866-714-8615 and you'll be connected to our support team right away. Thank you for watching.